In the meantime, China's ambassador to the United States, Cui Tiankai, has emphasized the importance of a China-U.S. partnership ahead of President Barack Obama's scheduled visit to Beijing to attend the APEC Economic Leaders Meeting. In a commentary published by the CNN, Cui says a stronger collaboration between the two countries will benefit the economy worldwide. Cui says one such area of collaboration is the realization of the free trade area of the Asia-Pacific, or the FDAAP, which will, for the first time, incorporate the two largest economies in the world, China and the U.S., into one free trade agreement framework. The FTAAP has been under discussion for about a decade now without yielding any concrete results. According to one study, the FTAAP, once put into action, could bring the income gains of the U.S. to around 202 billion U.S. dollars by 2025. So he mentioned infrastructure and innovation as other key factors to boost growth across the Asia-Pacific region. So he has been involved in APEC for about two decades now and has witnessed the growth of the organization, which he says is the result of strong China and U.S. participation.